Tommy, the first of our bank holiday double this weekend. What are your thoughts ahead of Friday's fixture? Um, as we've talked about in previous interviews, I think we're at a stage of the season where everybody's got something to play for. Uh, both teams are in exactly that situation on firstly on Friday, but then again on Monday. So for us, again, it's the next game. It's the one that we're really focused on and we have been since um, last weekend's game against Solihull. We couldn't affect anything in the midweek and we didn't. So we are where we are because of where we've put ourselves and we'll be trying to continue that upward trajectory if we can. In terms of our opponents, Maidenhead United, obviously it was a very hectic affair last when they came to the EBB Stadium mm. earlier in the season. If you, do you want another one like that or do you want a nice, simple 1-0 win? Well, I think it would have been a really good game for the uh, neutral that game, having them taking an early lead and us pegging them back. Um, but ultimately, you know, every manager at this stage before the game will want the game to go the way he has planned and his staff have prepared the team for. Uh, I'm sure Alan will be exactly the same. So, like I said, at this stage of the season, it's about imparting your will to make the games go your way. Um, we have six games left and we'll, we'll approach every one of them with the same clarity as to what we want to do. But we respect the opposition and what they try to do. So it's about who comes on top on each, each of them six games. That game showed the spirit within this dressing room, like you said, they're coming from behind from two goals down. Is that something you definitely want to see more of well, as the season comes to a close? Well, I think it's something we've shown as a constant all the way through the season. I think if, we've, if we concede a goal, um, heads don't drop, you know, belief doesn't diminish and, and we, we plough on. In at this stage of the season, that's going to be really important as it's showed last weekend. You know, at the end of the day, over the week, we've, we've actually gained on Sully Hull by drawing with them because they didn't manage to get themselves over the line on, on Tuesday night. So we can only affect ourselves and what we do and, that, and that's what we'll try, but we'll try and impart ourselves as much as we can on the opposition. I know we'll have a really good following. It's not too far from the EBB over to, to York Road. So... We're looking at a good, a good crowd. Hopefully the weather is better than it is as we, as we stand. Um, but yeah, we're looking forward to the first of the two Easter games. And in terms, well, speaking about the fans there, it is a mm. shorter one. Hopefully we'll be back very well. And of course, on Monday at the, at the EBB as well, we've got the East Bank Open and a, red of all, a, a wall of red and blue. So, it, you know, they can make the difference for us, can't they? Oh, absolutely. I mean, they've followed us in the, in the droves all season, all over the country, far and wide. So I think we had more than Oxford did it um, Oxford City a couple of weeks ago and it wouldn't surprise me if it was similar it made and if, we, if we've got the numbers allowed in, into the ground but again like you said on Monday and, and, the, and the final home game um, there's a call for us to fill pack the East Bank out ourselves and it'd be great to see that, that uh, happen the fans have been fantastic with us almost a year to the day since we came in the building um, and it's been a great year so we just want to try and carry on in that upward trajectory in terms of training this week, the schedule gets messed up a little bit when you have the Friday, Monday, mm. but, but how's that all gone? All good? Yeah, we just moved it forward one day, so we took Tuesday as the rest day, and we've trained the two days oh. into the game as we normally would. Um, unfortunately, the lads won't be getting an Easter Sunday to sit and eat chocolate eggs. We'll be in training because we've got a game on the Monday, but that's part and parcel, um, and it's it's part of the, the, the job, really. So, we, you know, we'll get plenty rest at the end of the end of, whatever that is. Um, when we're all done and dusted, I'm sure the lads will get plenty of rest. But at this moment in time, we need as many hands on deck or feet on, on the floor as we can. And it's really good to know that we got, we got the numbers swelled by, obviously, the two international lads are back um, on the training ground at least. Um, and had you obviously available for Monday. But Kwame's back involved and we've got one or two who've had knocks for, for quite a while. are really, really close to being involved as well.